Although we introduced the Form Z palettes earlier in this tutorial, we shall spend the next few steps examining them further, namely those that appear on your screen by default. While the palettes share certain characteristics, they are very different from one another in the functions they perform. The surface style palette in the upper left corner of the window controls the color, transparencies, reflections and bumps of the objects you create. The coordinates and prompts palettes in the upper right and lower left corners respectively are somewhat similar in that both track the cursor's position on the reference plane. However, the prompts palette also displays instructions for guiding you through the execution of an operation. The tool options palette in the far right corner of your screen shows the options of the currently active tool. When an icon is selected, the Tool Options palette is refreshed to show the options in effect. The options here are the same as those found in the Tools dialog, which is invoked by double-clicking on the respective tool. The Tool Options palette simply offers a more direct method of accessing those options. The Lights, Objects, Layers, and Views palettes in the lower right corner of the screen are where you can manage items within the scene. These palettes are especially similar compared to other palettes shown. They contain columns on the right side where their visibility, selectability, snapability, or shining and shadow status are displayed and may be changed. Each of these palettes contains a dialog that can be invoked by clicking on the name row within the window. The dialogs for the palettes contain a number of options as shown in the lights dialog we have invoked as an example. Here we can add, subtract, or edit lights within the scene. The last of the palettes that appear in the default setting of Form Z is located at the bottom of the screen. This is the Animation Timeline palette, and its primary purpose is to control the current animation time and to preview the animation sequence. In addition to the Lights, Layers, Objects, and Views palettes we mentioned a moment ago, many of the other palettes contain dialogues. A shortcut to invoking the palettes' dialogues is by selecting the Option key on the Macintosh, or the Control and Shift keys on Windows and clicking anywhere in the respective palette. By now, you have probably noticed that any measurements you have seen in either the prompts or coordinates palettes have been in English units, which are in feet and inches. This is the default setting in Form Z, but can easily be changed if desired in the Project Working Units dialog. The Project Working Units dialog can be invoked a couple of different ways. The first method can be accomplished by selecting Working Units, from the Options pull-down menu at the top of the screen. A second route is the keyboard shortcut. Press the Option key on Macintosh or the Control and Shift keys on Windows while clicking anywhere in the Prompts palette. Once you have the Project Working Units dialog invoked, notice you can select the size level of the default values, the type of measurement in English or metric, and its accuracy. Here we will select the metric option and observe how this affects the reference plane. Notice how the quadrants on the reference plane are divided differently. This is to accommodate metric units. Also observe the numeric values in the coordinates palette are in centimeters. So far we have discussed the menus, tools, and palettes that are comprised in the Form Z interface. The final segment of this introductory tutorial shall focus on the preferences options available in Form Z. In order to avoid configuring your desired settings every time you launch Form Z, you can save and recall those preferred configurations through the Preferences dialog that can be invoked through the Edit or Form Z Render Zone Plus pull-down menus at the top of your screen. The Preferences dialog is structured hierarchically and displays a list of categories on its left side. Once an item from the list is selected with a single click of the mouse, the corresponding preference settings for the selected subject are shown on the right portion of the dialog. Once you have made the desired changes to your settings, it is time to save them here in the Preferences dialog. Located in the System General category of the dialog are the option to save a preferences file which is called a .zpf. In the Project General category is where you can save your current Form Z project and all its current settings as a template project meaning that you can instruct Form Z to pick up the settings of this project for future projects. To learn more about saving your preferences and settings, please refer to Section 3.2.7 of the User's Manual. In addition to the Preferences dialog, 
You can further customize your Form Z workspace by customizing its key shortcuts. Recall that key shortcuts are a combination of keystrokes and or mouse clicks that perform actions which would otherwise be initiated from a menu item, a tool icon, or a dialog. Form Z offers key shortcuts to most of its actions that the program executes, which is more than 600. As we mentioned, you are able to customize the key shortcut assignments for all the actions, can save any number of key assignment sets, and can switch from one set to another whenever it facilitates the modeling task at hand. Selecting the Key Shortcuts item from the Edit pull-down menu invokes the Key Shortcuts Manager dialog, where the key commands can be customized. For more details about how this can be done, please consult Section 1.9 of the User's Manual. This concludes the Form Z Introduction Tutorial.